Hey, we're Highland and this is John. I'm Steve. I'm Mitch. And I'm Ben. I'm praying again that I catch your eye. I'm falling in love for the last time. We have tonight. And to bring your heart to life. I'm praying for courage to speak my mind. I'm head on the hills and I'm tongue tied. We have tonight. And to bring your heart to life. We're from Minnesota. Uh, we actually all grew up in the, the northern suburbs of Minnesota. We didn't know each other um, growing you. up, and then we just kind of all met playing in different bands. Ben was in a, a different band. He calls me and he's like, bro, my band broke up. Yeah. And so he came and joined, and then I ended up a couple years later getting Steve. And then Mitch was in the local band, and we tried to talk him into it. It yeah. probably took a couple of times talking him into actually joining the band. They were like, you got to commit. I was like, fine. So I committed. Here I am. We were sending mixes, like indie versions of mixes, to our friends to listen to. And um, our friend uh, Josh in Seattle was interning for Aaron Sprinkle. He was listening to the song on the, on the studio speakers and he accidentally left. Just a wave file up on the top. Yeah, of the like a little part. Gmail window with the song in it. And so Aaron Sprinkle came in the next morning because he forgot to close it and pushed play on it. So he listens to it, he's like, who the heck is this band? And he starts asking around and no one knows. And finally Josh comes in that night and Josh thinks he's in trouble because he's not supposed to be using the, the speakers. <laughs> so he's backpedaling, oh, oh just, just some friends of mine. And, and Aaron's like, I really like this, what, what is this? And so um, Aaron called me on a Friday asked if he could pitch us to the label. And then um, on Monday, the following Monday, we got a call from, from a and r Tooth & Nail. Um, and then on Tuesday, we got uh, a record deal sight unseen. And so then it was off to the races to try to get it negotiated. Pretty crazy. We feel like that was a huge God thing because we yeah, didn't, it we had, came out of nowhere. We had nothing to do with it, which is great. It's an all-time high. The album coming out in May is, uh, is called Weights and Measures. And it's just talking about, um, as a society, we're always um, looking at peer pressure, seeing if we measure up to everybody else. We're always comparing ourselves and weighing ourselves against everybody. And so this album is really just talking about that struggle and that fight. And it um, comes out May 3rd, and we're just super stoked and just blessed with the opportunity. The song, This Love is Free, um, I wrote that song in a really just kind of down part of my life. I was 24, um, living at my parents' house. It's about maybe three in the morning in the garage. I'm working on a song real late and just can't quite get it. And finally I'm like, I'm, I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm tired. And I, as I was falling asleep, I just heard the whoa, 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 and I was like, I have to get up. I have to work with this. So I ran upstairs, ran back out in the garage, started plunking on the guitar. and. Um, my dad comes out at about 5.30 in the morning to go to work. He's like, what are you doing up? I'm like, I'm just, I was working on this song. I just, I just had to get it done and um, kind of put it in our back pocket for probably at least a year. And then um, we were working with um, Ben Kasica in Kenosha and I played it for him and he's like, dude, we got to work on this song. And yeah, we were not even really going to do that We weren't song. planning on it. We were planning on doing more of a rock EP and, and I pulled that song out. I was like, dude, we really need to work with it. It could really just help some people. And, it's really just about realizing that um, like, you're down, life is hard, and there's always hope. God is big. God is always bigger than our past, and so many times we let the past hold us back in a big way, and we can't get past that. And just God, is, God is love, and this love is free. This love is free. This love
song that the one that got away um, just really is about a girl who is just kind of playing you and um, she thinks she's got the upper hand she knows everything she knows how to play the right cards and she knows how to just flip you on your head and um, I just thought it'd be a fun way to flip the cliche and be like no I'm the one that got away not you I had the opportunity to go to Nashville and work on it with Stephen Christian um, from Amberlynn so it's a fun song we brought it to the band and Steve starts off with dun, 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 just like the double beat and just turned into a really great pop song. I'm really proud of it and excited for people to hear it. Till Death is uh, a rock song that we wrote when we kind of needed it. John was writing it when we were on tour and we were kind of in between Indiana and Nebraska and there's lyrics in it that he wrote and it said somewhere in between Nebraska and Indiana and I was like, John, you can't say Nebraska in a song. It's too boring. It, this, Nebraska is the worst state. <laughs> we end up playing it on that tour. Like, yeah. We're just like, that was another tour. I, it feels like there's a lot of these, but that's another tour. There's just not a ton of people. And we're like, <laughs> let's just play it. It'll, it'll work itself out. And take what you want and I'm not giving up with the cry of a desperate man. The song Desperate Man, John wrote uh, the chorus, I think, right after our gear had gotten stolen. It was the same day. It was, yeah, same day, and he was just bumming, and the, and the chorus goes, take what you want, I'm not giving up, the cry of a desperate man, uh, do what you can, I'm playing your hands, the cry of a desperate man. And it's just a song that, I mean, it's self-explanatory, take what you want, I'm not giving up, this is something we're really passionate about, and um, we love doing it. I was in the studio working and um, the producer was like, I don't really like what we're working with. How about you just write something new? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go make a phone call, see what you can come up with. And I'm like, uh. He walks out the door and I start plunking around and come up with just the hook for jumping the gun and it really grew into a song. Um, just about realizing that we just really need to put our best foot forward and hope that God catches us because he always does. I'm jumping the gun, I'm taking the wheel, fighting with wounds that just won't heal.